Turning now to that sharp speech today from Russian President Vladimir Putin. In it, he announced during his State of the Nation that Russia will temporarily suspend its involvement in a critical nuclear arms agreement with the U.S., raising concerns now that Russia could start restart nuclear testing. Putin's announcement comes as President Biden called on NATO allies to stand strong with Ukraine. ABC's Justin Finch has more in Washington. One day after President Biden's unprecedented trip to Ukraine, Morning, Biden stopping Kyiv, marking the first time in modern history a U.S. president has visited a war zone where the U.S. has no military presence. Today, Russia's President Vladimir Putin appearing to fire back in his State of the Nation address. While not mentioning Biden by name, Putin blasts the U.S. and NATO allies, falsely accusing them of starting the war and saying Russia is using force in an effort to stop it. President Putin ordered his tanks to roll in Ukraine. He thought we would roll over. He was wrong. The Ukrainian people are too brave. America, Europe, a coalition of nations from the Atlantic to the Pacific. We were too unified. Putin also announcing Russia is temporarily holding off participating in the New START nuclear arms treaty, the Obama era nuclear arms reduction agreement between Russia and the U.S. The announcement by uh, Russia that it's uh, suspending participation in New START is deeply unfortunate and irresponsible. Uh, we'll be watching carefully. Putin's announcement heightening concerns about its nuclear weapons intentions as its war with Ukraine marks one year this week. President Biden not reacting to Putin's remarks at the start of a meeting with Polish President Duda. We have to have a security in Europe. It's that basic, that simple, that consequential. Duda and Biden in Poland discussing efforts to support Ukraine and fortify NATO allies' defenses. And Putin's speech came hours before President Biden's address in Poland, where he rallied support for Ukraine from ally nations and from the U.S. The White House also underscoring that Biden's speech was not meant to signal a head-to-head -head with Putin. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.